Hi guys, Scrapbooking with Scrapaletta here. I just want to show you a, do a quick video showing you a photo folio that I did for my friend Linda, who also went uh, on the safari this summer to South Africa. I will post all the papers and things um, later. Well, let me turn it around this way because I'm having a really hard time videoing these days. I, I've got new equipment. I can't get it to work. I've got my new phone, iPhone. I can't get it to video right. So I'm just going to do it this way. And you guys just, I hope it comes out okay. Uh, this is a photo folio that I use the pattern from my sister's scrapper. And I just en enhanced it a little bit with some of my own things uh, and the way I wanted to do the pages. The band I put around it was a band, was a Tim Holtz band. And I just made this little, um, I guess, dangly charm to hang on it with some things that were from my collection. And I got these from Michael's a long time ago. Everything that I used to make this um, folio is from my collection because I'm trying to use up my stash. Um, and in my stash, I had uh, Recollections flowers that I had and some Prima flowers. I had old buttons that I had gotten. These were some gold foil leaves that I got from Target in a, um, in a little bottle a long time ago and they were on clearance. Uh, this is a paper stack, and I believe it's Recollections. It is not Recollections cardstock. It is Recollections paper, and then uh, I did use one of their their cardstock uh, packs also. So I will let you know how um, the name of it. I will put it down below so you can um, check it out. This is actually a little tin piece that I got, and I don't even remember where I got these from, but it says Wander Boulevard, and. On the cover, I use Stickles, I use Wink of Stella, and I use some little jewels that I had to kind of highlight everything and make it stand out a little bit more. This is the side. This was the only thing I really purchased, and that was these numbers right here because it says 2017, which is when she took the trip. I needed some small numbers with something that would stand out. I happened to be in Hobby Lobby, and they had these numbers that were clock face numbers on the clearance for 68 cents. So I got them. This is the back, and I'll try to stay in frame. This is the other side, so there are four sides. Now, this folio actually is the same on all sides, just so you will know that the, the two sides mirror each other. So when we open it up, the first thing that we see is the inside cover, and this is a pocket, and I got this pocket die from... AliExpress. It's a really cute pocket die. I cannot tell you the name of it because I'll have to look back and try to find it. So I can't tell that to you right now. Inside the pocket is a little tag booklet that I made. And I did not um, put any paper on the inside because she is a scrapbooker and I want her to be able to put her own touches on it. Now, the cards that are on here are Project Life cards, and I use them along with washi tape and stickles to just enhance um, things as I went. These were older, actually the peel-offs, the clear peel-offs we used to get a long time ago. I don't see too many of them now. Uh, over here is a belly band, pack your bags, and inside the belly band are two booklets. Uh, this is the first one. Just has three pages, but you can get a cut down four by six, a three by five, some other small ones. This is a larger uh, booklet that just has three pages. And everything was inked with gathered twigs. Everything was inked with gathered twigs, distressing. Okay. Now, if we. Okay. Um, when we open up this side. It kind of mirrors this side, and it would be the back. And here is a uh, triple pocket that I made. I made tags to go in it, and it just says, remember this. This is a little larger tag, 
and she can put a full four by six and journal on that. And then the one here at the top is a really um, nice size tag that she can do a full four by six on that also. Forgive me, I'm not used to working upside down. Okay, when we have this page right here, it says journey with a pocket. And the pocket has three, two tags, Project Life, and then a little booklet with memories. And it, I think it has three pages here. Nope, this one only has two. Okay, this just felt a little thick. All right. So then it only, they only have two photo um, tags up here. And that's the one, one of them right there. And I'm going to try to get this back in here, so forgive me. All right. Um, and then when we open that up and we look, there's the same on this side. We have a small pocket. It says explore. Uh, here's a little photo booklet. Now, this one does have three little pages in it. Then here's a little flip up with the Martha Stewart um, punch. And I just left it plain. She can put her own paper behind it. And another tag. Now, I used, um, I used Recollections Craft cardstock <laughs> i'll get it out in a minute to uh cover this little photo folio and um the albums that are the pages that are in it here is another um photo mat and it will hold a full four by six and i think this is actually large enough to hold a five by seven so let's put that back in there now when we open that up here we have two waterfalls and they are identical one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you can get 20 photos right in this and i do have magnets in this so that um they lay down nicely i have really flat magnets on here so you can get 20 photos on this side and it's identical on this side and you can get 20 photos on this side here when we open this up this is the inside of the folio. Um, we have a corner pocket here, and the corner pocket has three little tags in it. She can get a full four by six here. She can scrapbook and do a full four by six here with three little tags, good eats. This is big, okay? I really uh, like using the Project Life um, cards because I have like a million of them. Here she can get a full 4 by 6 It says Our Incredible Adventure. When we open it completely up, you can see as I'm going on over here, we have another small pocket with three tags, Wanderlust, We Went On A, and then Plane, Train, Bus, whatever. A small tag that I did not cover, um, like I didn't cover some of these, and she can do her own in there. Um, she can get a full 4 by 6 here. Uh, probably a five by seven. That's just how big it is. And if she mixes it up, she can get like some three by fives, um, four by sixes, whatever she wants to put in here. Over here, again, a mirrored corner pocket, a small tag, uh, an uncovered tag. And I cut these out using the Tim Holtz uh, tag thing for the Sizzx and then another booklet. And all the booklets have these um, clear... I guess you, you peel them up and then you put them down and this says, are we there yet? And this is just a little three page booklet that she can journal in or, you know, talk about her trip or take photos. So this is the um, photo folio that I did and I hope you like it. Um, please come back and join me again for my next one that I'm doing. And until then, happy scrapping.